Welcome back to Reptiles and Research. So, I want to talk about UV. And I've been kind of going down the rabbit hole lately because I've been really wanting to like research and understand like LED UV. So, my current understanding is that all our current UV types, the T5, the T8s, are compact. And anything that's a fluorescent UVB bulb will be banned by 2025 under the new like EU laws and whatnot. So, we really need to cast our eyes to the future. Yes, we have our UVB at the moment, we've got our T5s and it's all perfectly good and well, and it works really well, but it doesn't really matter if this technology is about to be banned. So going forward, we look towards LED UV, and a lot of us have concerns over LED UVB at the moment. Um, some of the earlier stuff is not that great, and we're not there yet. But what I'm hoping for is that because everything's about to be banned, all our UVs are about to be banned by 2025, so we've got two years left. So just like the pandemic and all the vaccines and the rapid flow and all that stuff, this pressure cooker situation happened and it meant that production and research and development was fast tracked and fast like on a rocket to get to the end result because it needed to happen and it needed to happen fast. And that's where I kind of see the similarity to our situation in the reptile industry. We need UV obviously to keep our animals alive, but it's going to be banned. So this pressure cooker situation is going to happen where getting LED UV be correct and right and ready is really our biggest priority. So I think it's going to be fast tracked and we're going to get there quicker because all eyes and focus is going to be like, right, LED UV, we need this, let's go. So I kind of think that's going to happen. So I'm really excited about that. Obviously, I've had some LED UV bulbs sent to me before in the past few years and I wouldn't use them. But like I said, going forward, I think some really cool stuff is in the pipe. It has to be in the pipeline. So I think some cool stuff is going to come out and I'm looking forward to it. Now, there was an open letter that went out to the appropriate channels saying like, hey, we need these for our reptiles. There should be an exemption on the fluorescent UVB in the same way that the incandescent like halogen bulbs are also like on exemption pet list thing. So as far as I'm aware, there was no response to that open letter. So as far as we know, we are on a fast track towards a ban of UVB bulbs as we currently know them. So we need to get the LED UV out so that we actually have UV fire reptiles. Now, I'm only talking from like a European perspective here. America, I don't really know, but I can't imagine America's going to have them for much longer after either. I don't really know. So take that with a grain of salt. My understanding is that the majority of our favorite brands, T5s and whatnot, come from like a few factories in Germany and that one of them has closed up shop in terms of fluorescent UVB and the other is like going to be stopping in the next few years. So all of that's like coming to an end and then all our stockpiles of our bulbs that we have in the industry will be continued to be allowed to be sold but nothing gets to be made after that so we have this kind of like ni nice float to get us to the led uv tech but, but i think that the led uv technology will come through when we need it it has to it literally has to i believe that led chipsets or the the, the, the diodes sorry are made in just you know factories and they're very very cheap to get hold of because like they're made for other industries as well like household lighting and blah 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 blah, blah. but when it comes to something like actually specific like ones that emit uvb within certain like nanometer bandwidths and things that aren't used in other industries that would be just for reptile keeping i believe they're going to be really really expensive because there hasn't been a lot of orders from other industries would have like made them abundant and driven the price of the diodes down. I think the LED UVB bulbs will be quite pricey when it first starts, but I think like when obviously we all need to buy it and we buy into it, and then obviously these factories are getting more and more orders for these diodes, the price of the diode will come down and then the price of LED UV technology will come like commonplace, just like our T5s are. So the new Future is coming, it's just a case of waiting to see what's going to happen. Now, I know that Arcadia's got some big announcement coming, and my prediction for that is that it's going to be LED UV. I'm, I'm, I'm excited, and I've got, I'm going to have like five, seven foot vivs behind me, and I'm ready to kit them out. 
I don't think it's going to be like food because like Katie was talking about like the biggest innovative step forward in like 10 years or something I think it said so I'm thinking if if it's that grand that it has to be the LED UV like I've just I put all my chips in on LED UV I think I think something big's coming I think it's I think it's coming so Arcadia, as well as all the other brands like Zoomed, Exoterra, and stuff, I know, I know that they're all working on LED UV, and I think something's coming. If not now, next year, the year after, it has to come before 2025. Otherwise, we're in a bit of a pickle. But yeah, that's my prediction, and that's the situation. I think it's scary and exciting at the, f- the same time because it's like, ooh, 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 ooh this is gonna be banned, but also like, cool shit's coming, you know don't really know what i'm talking about here i'm just rambling because i'm excited and i thought i would share um my thoughts on it but keep your eyes peeled some some cool shit is surely coming and it's gonna be cool other than that like if you want any care guides or anything like that they're on the channel subscribe and i'll see you in the next video